you show is kind of with one lady making some cakes. Uh, what happens with the platform when there's like 10,000 guys trying to sell their products? Uh, well, it's going to be a somewhat curated platform uh, because we want quality services and quality and reliable service providers. So it's not like just anyone can uh, go in there and create a store. They have to <coughs> submit an application and uh, we're, uh, we're still working on the scale aspect, how it's going to work at scale. Uh, but it's going to involve some sort of maybe referencing process from other customers, uh, their social uh, network profiles, that sort of thing. When launching, you have some kind of proximity issue that you need the window cleaner to yeah. be pretty close to the customer. So how are you planning to do this? Uh, so right now, right price. now, this this price of beta, since we, we really want to to, to be. Uh, close to the users so we can get quality feedback. It's just here in the Lisbon area. Uh, we've, uh, we've invited only a few users so far, but we've got about 100 signups at this point. Um, and we're recruiting local uh, service providers. Um, and, and then at the public data stage, we're going to go nationwide. And uh, mostly, we're thinking, and from our experience so far, the service providers themselves, they're mostly micro-entrepreneurs. And they are very proactive in uh, giving us references of other service providers that they know. And, and it's been uh, quite an interesting uh, way of, of getting new contacts. Uh, my, my question is going to be how many paying customers do you have right now? And what is your major concern at the moment? Because of the customer is not doing that well. Plus, is doing well and has a first mover advantage to you. Yeah. So, um, what's your major concern right now? Uh, well, right now we don't have any paying customers yet. Uh, this is this is just a, an initial uh, testing run for a few weeks. But we expect uh, before the end of the, the private beta to have uh, some paying customers. Um, as to our main concern is of course with acquiring customers and, and gaining traction, proving this business model. From the interviews and polls that we have, uh, we believe that our differentiation uh, versus TaskRabbit and Zask is that we're doing the storefront model. Uh, we're uh, not the only ones in the world doing it, but we're uh, certainly not the very first few doing it. And, um, and we believe it, it's a better way to solve this. Uh, of your revenue model, do you get a percentage of the... We have uh, do we I pay a 15% fee. But I pay to you or I pay to the task? No, you pay to us. Uh, and you pay to the task? And we pay to the task, to the service provider, minus 15%. Yeah. After the task, then? Yes, and after, after the task. We, we start by, uh, right now we're using just credit cards, where we can pre-authorize the credit card before the task begins, and we charge it at the end, and in a way we give better guarantees to both the buyer and the seller. Where do you guys want to be in 2 to 6 to 12 months in terms of metrics, in terms of how many tasks you want to have on the site, how many tasks you want to fulfill? 6 to 12 months? Um, great question. <laughs> uh, in about 6 months, since we're going to be doing the commercial launch here in Portugal, um, we'd like to at least have uh, a few thousand users uh, nationwide. Probably concentrated in, in the biggest cities, but uh, something uh, one of a few thousand users. Uh, six more months, it's really going to depend on whether or not we're able to get some investments to really spend on uh, marketing campaigns and gain scale.